can dance, eat, skate, and do the tarantella with the owner and chef Melissa Davison. Yeah! Whee! So, we are going to go now to get rolling to our very famous chef. And we're also going to meet Mr. Paul Nissan. He's a lecturer, author, healer, and health educator. So let's glide with pride to Carabella Restaurant in Redondo Beach, California. Get rolling! Redondo Beach, California, the first and longest running raw food vegan organic restaurant. And today we have a special guest. My next guest will inspire and shift your life. And he has dedicated his life to helping people. He's also had personal experience in healing, dealing, and living with disease. And that was inflammatory bowel disease. And it's one thing, you know, to go raw because it's fun and you want to and everybody's doing it, but it's another thing to go raw out of desperation. And for him, it was the raw way or no way. <laughs> He's also the author of so many great books, Raw Life, Raw Knowledge, Healing Inflammatory Bowel Disease, and Eating According to the Scriptures, Health According to the Scriptures. Please give a warm welcome today for my good friend, the insightful, inspiring, and intuitive, Mr. Paul Nissan. Yay! We made it, I love him. He's also a fellow New Yorker. We love him. He's from Brooklyn. And you get your raw the raw lay today, Paul. Thank you so much for coming, sweetie. <laughs> oh my God. Well, we have so much to say. It's a little time. You look fabulous. Thank you, Sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah. Debbie Merrill Show. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. We got New York, New Jersey, Portland, um, New Mexico, Ohio, Illinois. So many new viewers. And I know you're making a tour all around the country, so they'll be able to check out some of your lectures. But first of all, how long have you been raw, and why did you go raw? Well, about 15 years ago, I was diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease, which is also known as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Right. And I went to my doctor to get better, because that's all I knew how to do. And every time I went to my doctor, she wasn't getting me better. Every time I listened to advice, I got worse. Ugh, and so many people. She kept giving me these drugs to take, and it wasn't helping. It was making my condition worse. Right. So I went to other doctors, and I was getting worse from going to them as well. So finally, I decided if I listened against the doctor's advice, let me see what would happen. And I did, and I got better. So the more I would go to doctors and the more they would tell me what to do, I would do the opposite and get better. So when it came time to ask them about diet, uh, I asked them what diet was best, and they advised against eating a raw food diet. And so how did you I decide eating. to go contrary to what a doctor says? Because everybody makes a doctor like a higher power. And I say doctors, I love you guys, but you're practitioners. You're practicing on us. So we should be our own doctors until it's fatal and then go to a doctor. And that's raw foods helps you heal what doctors are trying to heal. Sure. Well, if the doctors would have got me better, I would have listened to them. But everything they did got me worse. So how did you find the raw food? Diet, I ended diet. up moving down to West Palm Beach, Florida, right, right next to a place called the Hippocrates Health Institute. Right. Ryan Clements, one of our fans. And I went down there and uh, I was living right next to the place. And one day I was